If you have seen our videos about the six biggest challenges that we have faced after we quit our jobs five years ago, then you might also be asking yourself, like one of our subscribers, Adam, how we could afford to not work for five years. Uh, it's a very valid question and we're happy to share with you our story. It's anything uh, like romantic or perfect, um, but it also has to do with manifestation. So. When we met five years ago, uh, we pretty much at the same time decided that we will quit our jobs because we both knew we wanted to do something more, we wanted to have our own business and we were both really good at our jobs, but we decided, okay, let's take this step, let's trust in ourselves, let's go travel and start our own businesses. And this first step, this courageous step to just leave the job was, for me, very easy. And I don't know how it was for you to leave after eight years. From my perspective, it is easy to leave your job, but it's hard to make the decision. Mm -hmm. So once you make the decision or I made the decision that leaving the job was easy, right? You just put the stuff back and say goodbye to your colleagues. But mm -hmm. before that, this is hard to decide. But I was already convinced that I am eight years in the same in a co corporation and my body was uh, I was still sitting and uh, working on a computer so I had a problem with my arm I had a you know very much challenged my eyesight my eyes and uh, also when you live sedentary life like you know I studied very long then I was working very long and uh, you know i sat 10 12 hours a day and uh, mm -hmm. you know so and it you're... was for me uh, also like recommendation from my physiotherapist that uh, he was like one day he was asking me are you like how how much you click on that mouse because i had some challenges mm -hmm. and i said a lot and then he said mm, which i understood from his look at me if you're gonna continue that's not gonna be good so yeah i had few things which were very much motivating me to leave even though i for example was leaving in love and i totally love my ex-company and all the colleagues and everybody mm -hmm. yeah for me too i was also able to leave in love but that was for me that first step was easy to leave my job and you know say okay now i'm going to do my own thing but doing my own thing that turned out to be much harder than I thought. At least that's what I made it to be, much harder. I'm just observing our, our dog Luna and she is like absolutely in bliss on sun. She's totally enjoying, like, I don't know if you see it. Yes. But she's totally enjoying. <laughs> like, Come on. Yeah. Okay. So after we met, we decided that we also want to focus on abundance. We wanted, first I was creating the relationship and after we met, I said, hey, I really want to focus on abundance. I want to be free. I want to do, be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want and you as well. So we were both having this clear intention that we want to have abundance. I was putting as my vision, a certain number. For me, I'm sorry, but for me, as a as a lady, uh, I couldn't get a job in the past, and I had a really nice job, and I left the job just because I was uh, having a partner from different country, and I would never think about <coughs> that I could make it for myself, that I could create some abundance or something. I, I of course, I had a dream like this, like every person has, mm -hmm. but I never thought that I could be capable to do this. You know before mm -hmm. so then i met rafael and to because we were in love and and so everything was like flowing yeah and we decided to go for it yes to trust in us to take the leap um yeah so we were having both this intention to manifest abundance it was a specific number six figures it was uh, for me and we just kept focus on it, focusing on it and meditating every day on that, on how it would feel to be abundant, uh, to also keep this energy of being abundant throughout the entire day. 
and it felt good, but I was still very much blocking myself with thinking how it is going to happen. I would catch myself, oh my gosh, uh, I, if I buy a lottery ticket and then I win the lottery, what am I going to do? And oh, I should maybe open up a second bank account and I start to do all these matter to matter things. And I was still, every time I was manifesting, I was thinking how it could happen or where it would come from and that is always the known and as soon as i think that it could happen this way this way it can't happen anymore because then it wouldn't be from the unknown and i am creating from the unknown so i was constantly blocking myself with these thoughts and it took really really long um it felt good we were still doing it i think for a year yeah. for mm -hmm. yeah for a for a year or something like that and we also less, maybe. when we moved to switzerland for a little while mm -hmm. uh, also already during COVID and so on yes it was a little bit more hard and mm -hmm. he started to work there as a waiter yes that was uh, in the beginning of our relationship mm -hmm. i was taking once a job as a waiter because we were living in switzerland the cost of living is so much higher than here in the czech republic that i thought it's best to just work and uh, be able to pay for the rent and everything so for th four months I think I was working there and then we went to my home yes with our old car it's another story but we went to my home and we were sitting in our mo mother's in my mother's couch and I was like hey so how are you doing with the money and so on and he said I have lost four hundred dollars. I was like, okay, so we will have to figure it out together. And I think it mm -hmm. was like a test from the universe for me if I want to keep him or not. Or you know, mm -hmm. women, women have it like of they don't want to have anybody who they have to take care of. Mm -hmm. That's why I was already doing that in the past relationships that we had to split bills and everything. Mm -hmm. But um, so I was like, okay, so we'll we'll manage it somehow and. Then I said, four hundred dollars. You, you really surrendered to this. Yeah. To and this then, reality. Then I asked him to look once more. Yes. And then he looked. And then closer. it was like we shifted timelines. Like he shifted the uh, dimensions. Because yeah. I had my my system of uh, managing my money. I was having different accounts for different purposes. I looked at my bank accounts once more. I looked at my investments, which I did way way before. I was like counting everything together. I was like, wow, I actually have like uh, six figures. Like I have almost a hundred thousand dollars. Almost a hundred thousand dollars. Yes. And you have never had that in your life. No, in your bank no. account. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that's crazy because he has, we started and he had like $13,000 or something. And mm -hmm. he was like really saving a lot for that. And I also, I got some some money from leaving the company and so on and uh, and and then we started to travel and we we were saving you know we were s almost like we were backpackers actually mm -hmm. and um, we were saving on everything all the time mm -hmm. and then i'm like okay 400 dollars he has okay so we'll make it somehow it's all right and then he really literally in the same day looked at the bank accounts once more and he found there a little bit bigger number. Yes, and it sounds, it really sounds silly. I get it. But it was really, I was in that consciousness that I have $400 to live. And I was in a consciousness that, okay, so. You surrendered to I it, surrendered you know, to you're this. fine with it. And I was really shifting the reality. Yes, the money was there before, but I couldn't see it. It was, some of it was investments in uh, cryptocurrencies, which I did way in the past. And I never considered it as, as uh, my money i was still like yeah yeah this is just for playing and and it actually was at a very nice level and then uh, it was it kept growing over the next several months and we came close to that goal which i had and then we were facing loss again but we were so much not ready for such a, a big amount of money mm -hmm. that we could, we didn't touch it at all and it went down mm -hmm. immediately within like a 24 hours mm -hmm. we just lost so mm -hmm. much money because of that 
but if we just took it and used it for buying a house or not not a big one you know but something for us it would be really like saying to the universe hey okay we have we are grateful we have enough we we now worship this what we got and mm -hmm. the universe was like okay they are still not touching the money mm -hmm. why would i provide it on their bank account when they are not touching it right so it yeah. just left i had and more really money than quickly. i had more money than ever in my life before and i was constantly every single day i was feeling lack i was feeling worry yeah, stressed we that saving. i would lose it again yeah we were still saving we were still saving a lot you know yes in in everywhere so we you, still lived in the old yes person yes. who is in lack and we are still dealing with and this creating today. abundance mm -hmm. so it's possible but if you still live in the old personality you create it's lack then mm -hmm. you're just gonna face lack sooner yes. or later and what do you think happens when you have lack thoughts and you're worried that you would lose it you will lose it even though we were we were confirming yeah we can make it we can do it we we have that it was such a great feeling just to have it on the bank account and we were so humble and so like super careful about the money that we were like okay we'll wait you know we'll mm -hmm. just think With about wait and... wait and wait until it just didn't have a pa uh, it doesn't have it doesn't have patience to still wait mm -hmm. but also it doesn't have patience for you to just go and spend it immediately you know mm -hmm. so it has to be the right balance from the right energy mm -hmm. the mindset yeah, so that was a really tough loss. Then we realized how wealthy we were. Like wealthy, for some people it's not that much money, but for us it was like huge wealth, for, for example. Mm -hmm. But And then we, we really uh, knew immediately after it happened, we knew what we screwed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we had to then undergo this uh, loss of a huge sum of money, you know, that yeah. could cover our cost of living for more than a year but uh, more than a year it would cover for a few years but mm -hmm. very very high standard living which we would never afford to us anyways because we would be saving anyways so yeah it doesn't matter but what it did allow us is really to pay for everything we didn't have to once borrow money we were not once actually in lack we might have felt in lack mm -hmm. we might have felt that we have to save and that we can't afford this or that mm -hmm. but we have always been able to pay for everything with that money that we have manifested and now we want to go at it again you were putting also in uh, your intention was also to have so much money that you don't have to work it was just fun uh, experiment and actually not that i have to work but i want to work you know mm -hmm. it's different uh i don't think that it, you know we saw it on, during COVID time we didn't have to do anything and everything was closed and we didn't have to work this way you know but you know you do nothing you don't live you know mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. like we felt like we want to do exactly. something. exactly that's what we have realized then because mm -hmm. we have manifested this amount of money and it was super cool we didn't have to do anything for it it really just came out of nowhere uh, but then we were still missing like hey we, we want to contribute in some way and we're so happy that we can make these videos now it really took was, us a long yeah. time to get to this point i was asking myself hey what what is this all about like i am having like comfortable life I am still saving, but I'm fine with whatever I am provided for. It's it's not the best thing, but it's also not forcing me to go to the one nine to five job. But I was like, what is this about? I, I want to do something. I want to make some change, you know, and uh, I just didn't feel like going somewhere on expensive vacation and getting rid of everything we have, like, I mean, money wise mm -hmm. and uh, because I know that I am from here to here and I am not in that abundance yet mm -hmm. because I have to still change into becoming that person who is abundant. And the universe only gives us what we think we are worthy of receiving. So if we think we are worthy of only this amount of money, we will not have a sing single cent more than that. Mm. 
And if we get a big amount of money and we don't feel worthy of it, it will be taken again from us. Mm -hmm. And also I want to say that you might think, oh, you were just lucky because you invested in cryptocurrencies early on. Yes, we are lucky. We are super lucky. And actually, some really abundant people that I have met, it was evident very quickly that they all had to believe that they're the luckiest guy on the planet. Yes, I got lucky. Yes, we manifested it. I'm sure if I didn't manifest it, that money would already be gone, that, that money that I invested in, because I had so many opportunities where I could have sold it way, way before uh, cryptocurrencies were go going bigger, and I didn't. I was often on the verge of selling it because I couldn't handle the stress of it still going up and down, but I decided to keep it, and that allowed us to then manifest and uh, receive from this source. Mm -hmm. Because you... like. Anybody can buy cryptocurrencies, but how many people actually can accrue some wealth with it and actually keep it and use it for their cost of living? So it's not just, oh, you got lucky, it was just a coincidence. No, we manifested it. And because we manifested it, we could receive from this source. But we didn't fully receive. Yes. You know? We just uh, believed what's one, what's, what is on a screen, you know? and. I felt like something, uh, like I said to Raphael already, like half year before it mm -hmm. happened. Hey, don't you want to throw money into your normal bank? Don't you want to just take some money away and make it like a real money? Yes. And he became greedy. Mm -hmm. And that's not being humble. Mm -hmm. And that's wanting more, even though you get more than enough. And that's what was our biggest yes. lesson. I was already counting how big my wealth will be by that time, which is like three, four times over what it actually was Absolute at the Absolute nonsense peak. Counts, counting. And I was know? already you thinking, just... okay, I have to already think about the taxes that I'll have to pay and I have to maybe contact this person this who knows taxes. This was just the mind talking him exactly. into this, you know, not the heart. No, you know? no, absolutely mind yeah, yeah, and stressing yeah. and tense and overthinking. All the time, And that's what, that's what still then keeps it away from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was a very, very expensive and very big experience for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we definitely, if you have some questions, we can definitely answer them. Yes. Just post them under the video. So if you manifest something and it's not matching with your number, which you wanted, and it's maybe half of it, uh, maybe you didn't get there uh, yet what you want to manifest it's absolutely okay to continue but take some profits for you already from that and enjoy it because that's what you need don't mm -hmm. do mistakes like we did that we just were saving and waiting for having more because uh, the person who is in lack is still waiting for more and mm -hmm. becomes a bit greedy and not wanting, like, you know, it, it's very thin line between these two things. Mm -hmm. and, and we still have to improve it and, and fine tune it. Yes. We hope we inspired you in this video a little bit and maybe supported you if you were in the same situation like us. And uh, we know that everything changes when our energy changes. Mm -hmm. changes. Yeah. Yes. And how about you? Well, the manifestation works and believe in yourself. Yes. So we'll be looking forward to see you in our next video. Bye.